What the fuck? <sighs> Not again. Damn. No. Wait. We didn't check his pulse yet. <lacht> Im Novel Mode steht, dass er eine Axt im Rücken hat. Maybe he's still alive. Da kriegt Clover übrigens auch die Axt her im Axt Ending. Ja, no ich pulse. muss sagen, er sieht schon wirklich aus wie jemand, der noch lebendig ist. Well, he's dead. You don't say. Damn. If only we knew how it happened. Oh, who the fuck it is? These wounds. Uh, I wonder what killed him. It must have been this. These clothes. A captain. Does that mean this guy was Zero? Hmm. Bracelet Zero. <sighs> Junpei. It may be wise to find a way out of here first. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, it does. Das ist lustig. Und äh, die Kamera ist auch für das Rätsel wichtig, aber merkt euch trotzdem mal, dass hier eine Kamera steht. The screen shows what's going on in a small room somewhere that I don't recognize. The screen showing what's happening in the central staircase on B deck. The room on this screen looks really fancy. There's just some random hallway on this one. The screen shows the big hospital room. Central staircase on C deck and camera. There's a bunch of weird buttons on here. They probably switch what you see on the screens. Do you know how to work this thing? Um, why don't we just press one of these? Like this one. The fuck? Well, I guess it doesn't change the... What the hell is this? Huh. Z-E-R-O, huh? It's like he's making fun of us. <laughs> what do you think? Nothing. What about him? Do you think that's really Zero? There's no way that's him. Didn't I tell you already? Zero is one of us. Yeah, right. Well, even if he wasn't one of us, there's no way that man could be Zero. Uh-huh. Don't you get it? The letters that spell Zero on the TV screen, the captain's clothes he's got on, and of course, the bracelet with a Zero on it. It's too obvious. Look, look, this is Zero right here. This dead body is Zero. Isn't that kind of fishy? You're right. Only an idiot. No, oh, that's not the point. Only an, only an idiot wouldn't see through something like that, hat sie gesagt. So I'm not trying to make fun of them for thinking a trick like this would work. I'm sure they didn't think it would work. Which makes me wonder. I think this is a challenge. A challenge from the person who's really behind all of this. He's making fun of us. Uh? Don't you get it? <laughs> it's Captain Obvious. <laughs> Es ist nicht das erste Mal, dass ich dieses Spiel spiele und ich hätte längst auf diesen dummen Spruch selber kommen müssen, aber danke Alex. If whoever killed this guy really wanted us to think this corpse was zero, <lacht> they'd never have put a bracelet on him. Walking around with a zero bracelet would be like hanging a sign around your neck that said, I did it! Anyone with a brain would be able to see that this guy is supposed to look like everything zero is supposed to be, just like we did. The killer must have known we wouldn't think he was zero and put the bracelet on him anyway. Do you know why? Why? Like I said, he's mocking us. Too bad, suckers. This isn't zero. Where's the real me then? See if you can catch me. It's the same bad joke a lot of criminals like to play. They'll just sit back and watch people run in circles. That's really twisted. But it almost seems kind of childish. Yeah, you're right. It's really childish. It's like it's just a game to whoever this person is. That's what seems funny to me. All right, let's get back to the point. Who killed this man? I don't know. And what's this guy's deal? Who is he? How would I know that? If I knew anything, I would have told you. You have no idea who he is. Why would I? Hmm. We should check and see if he's got anything on him that might tell us who he is. Give me a hand here, Clover. Huh? We gotta flip him over. How else are we gonna search his pockets? <sighs> Okay, fine. Guess I'll do it. Here we go. Huh? Hey, it's the. Okay, yeah, this was man. Oh God, this man—he's dead, isn't he? You don't fucking say. Huh? No, it's just I. I guess I didn't really think about it until right now. If his bracelet's off, that means he's dead. Well, it's pretty obvious that he's dead. <laughs> you don't really need to look at his bracelet to figure out that he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I guess you're right. It is pretty obvious. After all, it's Captain Obvious. Well, uh, he looks a lot better than the other bodies we've seen, though. <laughs> you know? I mean, if, if there wasn't all this blood, he'd almost look like he was still alive. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it's kind of a messed up thing to say, but he kind of has it better, you know? Dying from a bomb going off inside of you? <sighs> I mean, that's just... Some of Snake's bones went right through his skin. I, I think the explosion must have thrown him against a wall or something. There was a broken bone just sticking out of his left arm. And... Uh, oh. What did you just say? Oh, man. Uh, I am... I I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. I... You I really do know, know you're what talking thinking. to I mean... his sister. No, that's not what I'm talking about. What did you say about his arm? A uh, arm? Mm -hmm. Yes, his left arm. You said it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did, but I mean, I, didn't didn't you see it too? Of course not. I could barely look at him. There's no way I was going to see the details. Are you sure it was his left arm? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it was. And he had a broken bone, right? What the hell are you getting at here? Just shut up and answer me! Yeah, he did. Uh, it was pretty bad, too. The bone was sticking out of the arm. <lacht> Clover? <lacht> das heißt, jetzt begreift sie, dass er nicht tot ist. What's wrong? <lacht> Look, I'm sorry if I said anything... Also, dass Snake nicht tot ist. Der Typ da drin ist natürlich sowas von tot. Thank you. Huh? What are you... Thank you so much, Junpei. Hey, uh, what's going on with you? I'm sorry, it's just... I'm so happy! Why? The body in the shower room... It, it isn't his! It isn't my brother! Huh? It's not Snake! Why on earth would you think that? Because his left arm is... I'm sorry, I really shouldn't be talking about this. Uh... But he's still alive. I'm... I'm so happy! I'm so glad! Uh huh? Junpei... You were right! Huh? No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. Ja, und wie gesagt, wenn man ihr das nicht gegeben und das gesagt hätte, dann hätte sie hier überhaupt nicht mehr wirklich mit einem gesprochen, einem nicht zugehört und einen später mit der Axt ermordet. Uh, that's... I, I only made it here because you gave me this. I was suspicious of everybody. I was angry and miserable, but because I had this four-leaf clover, because of what you said to me, I... Yeah. Thank you so much, Junpei. Oh, uh, if you really want to thank somebody, you, you should be thanking Santa. Santa? Why? Well, he was the one who gave me that thing. And the words for each leaf, I got that from him too. Oh. Um... Uh... Uh... <laughs> uh huh? Sie läuft hin und her. Ja, was denn jetzt? Did Did Santa really tell you those things? Yeah, he he did. Did I uh, say something wrong? Oh no, not at all. <laughs> In fact, this could be really good news. I think. You think? Santa knew about the words and the clover. The only people who should know about that are the other subjects. <gasps> Subjects? The other people who were in the experiment nine years ago, with my brother and me. Uh -huh. But he's blind, and I was part of the Nevada test group, so neither of us would be able to recognize the faces of the people who were on this boat. Nevada test group? What? Whoa, 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 okay, time out. <laughs> Let's just calm down for a second, okay? Start from the top. Don't start with the end and then jump to the middle. You, you, you gotta start with one, and then move to two, and three, and four, and so on. If you don't tell me stuff in the right order, I'm never gonna be able to figure it out. Okay. All right. Let's start with this experiment. What happened on this boat nine years ago? Do you know about morphogenetic fields? Morphogenetic fields? All right. How about, How about this? this? Theory, Theory of the, of the telepathic, telepathic mechanism. mechanism. I think Lotus mentioned something like that. Hmm, telepathy, huh? Well, that's not really it, but I suppose it's similar. So they were testing telepathy on this ship? Yeah, I guess so. So, what exactly did they have you guys do? The same thing that we're doing now. Exactly the same thing. What? The Nonary game. Nine people were put on this boat, and nine others were put in the building in Nevada. And the game started. Look, I'm sorry, but I, I don't get it. What do the nonary game and some telepathy experiment have to do with each other? Am I missing something here? 
The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. You know how sometimes when you're up against a really tough problem, and then the answer just kind of pops in your head? That's an epiphany. And what you learn from the epiphany can be transmitted with telepathy. When you add danger to that equation, then it gets easier to transmit that information over telepathy. So you're saying the nonary game was supposed to introduce that element of danger? Yeah, but it couldn't be just any old danger. It had to be life and death. And... and someone did actually die. A girl. Huh. She was on the boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but I did hear her name. Uh? Her name was... Hmm. Oh, my apologies. I seem to have disturbed you. Motherfucker. Ace! You two must have strong stomachs. <laughs> I can't imagine how you could stay in this room for so long. At any rate, Junpei, would you be so kind as to come and help me with something? I'm having a little trouble, and I could really use your assistance. Uh... Come on. It'll only take a moment. I don't want Ace to hear us. We can talk about this later. Huh? Hey, wait! Junpei? What are you doing in there? Hurry up! Ah... <sighs> uh. It looks as though that drawer is the only thing that's locked. I don't see a keyhole though. An electric lock perhaps. Take a look at the left side of the drawer. Now there's some cables over there. That must mean... Oh. Ah, what is this? It's blank, there's nothing written on it. Paper. Nothing in the drawer anymore. What's mm -hmm. Small screwdrivers. Cool. Ink. Nothing in the drawers anymore. Aha, music box. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, wenn man die halt anschaut, dann sieht man, dass das nicht wie Noten bei einer typischen Musikbox aussieht, sondern wie Morse Code. Also kombinieren wir die mit dem Schraubenzieher, um sie aufzumachen. Dann kombinieren wir den Zylinder mit Tinte und rollen den übers Papier. Tada! Einfach, ne? Mm, look at batteries. The camcorder? It looks like it's pointed at the door. Well, the power is on. Why would someone want to videotape a door? Geben wir mal den Morsecode ein. Äh, hallo? Hallo? Wie geht das? A pair of headphones on the desk. An early telecommunications device most likely used to transmit a radio signal of some sort. I experimented with it earlier, but to no avail. Imagine it's broken. Äh, wie kann ich denn jetzt dieses dumme Morsecode-Dings da benutzen? Hallo? Bin ich, bin ich doof? Ah, okay. Alright, I've got the Morse code I'm supposed to enter. If I do this right, something will happen, I hope. Let's give this a shot. Oh, fuck, I have the last one to give. Um, what's he doing about? Flight Zero? Würde ja von den Buchstaben her passen. Aha. That's the last one and... Yes. Excellent work, Junpei. Good job. Das war falsch, ja. You seem to have figured it out. You've unlocked the drawer. Dankeschön. Was ist da drin? Looks like there's something on the cover. A-L-L-I-C. Oh, shit. All ice. Alice. Does this mean... The fuck? What the hell is this? They are hieroglyphs, a form of writing used in ancient Egypt. Yeah, that's why they... Ancient Egypt? That's right. Can you read them? Of course. I can't. 
What would make you think I could? <lacht> ich finde es so toll, wie er das sagt. Of course I can. What the hell? Wow, the, the whole thing's like that. Huh? What's this? Oh, a, a keycard. Library. Uranus. That's the Uranus symbol. Something's written on the bottom. Bottom deck library. This must be the key to the library then. So it would seem. Bottom deck library. Oh. Seven said something like. Alice, Alice sleeps, sleeps in a small, small chamber, chamber past, past the forest, forest of knowledge, knowledge beneath, beneath the navel of the gigantic. gigantic. Could beneath the navel mean the bottom deck? And the forest of knowledge is the library? Then could Alice be in a room somewhere beyond the library? What's wrong? Something on your mind? Um, yeah. I just remembered something. Is that so? What about? Well, don't laugh, okay? The Egyptian priestess and Ice Nine. Interesting. And the woman who wouldn't melt, who was recovered from the Titanic disaster? They called her All Ice, which eventually turned into Alice. And she was purchased by an English millionaire who called himself Lord Gordain. According to Seven, this ship is where he hid Alice. And you think that he hid her in a small room, beyond the library on the bottom deck? Yeah. W well, I mean, it is just a theory. Hmm. Junpei, have you ever heard of the term Cass? Cass? It stands for Cells Alive System. It is an advanced technology for freezing and preserving organic matter. Put simply, it is a technique that allows one to freeze things without the formation of ice crystals. Huh. Normally, if you freeze something fresh, water within its cells expands as it crystallizes, damaging the cell membrane. Cass, however, works differently. The object to be frozen is supercooled using magnetic fields, and then frozen instantly and uniformly, giving ice crystals no time to form. It was originally developed for the preservation of food, as an alternative to the normal freezing process. Now, however, there are rumors that it can be used for other things. What do you mean, other things? Well, there are obvious medical uses, but perhaps also space travel. Space travel? Are you serious? Surely you've heard of suspended animation. Cryogenic freezing? Genau, das wollte ich gerade. It's a fairly common okay. idea in science fiction books and films. People are sometimes frozen for especially lengthy journeys through space. Whoa, 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 wait a minute there. Are you saying that Alice was frozen using that cast thing? Well, I'm sure the possibility is quite low, but it is a possibility. If this special ice you call Ice-9 does indeed exist, and casts were used to freeze her into that sort of ice instantaneously. You think she could be alive? Well, I can't say for sure, of course. I'm only talking about possibilities. The melting point for Ice-9 is 96 degrees, right? If she were put somewhere where she could reach that temperature... <laughs> That's nuts! Are you really saying she could have defrosted and started walking about? You're quite right. It does sound unbelievable. But if she had, then we would have an explanation for the man we found dead on the floor. You mean the guy dressed like a captain? Yes. He was dead when we found him. Clearly, he was murdered. But if he was murdered, then by whom? It couldn't have been one of us. That would be impossible. In order to enter the captain's quarters, one must first open door one. That door that requires the earth key prevented us from accessing door one. Hmm. Who was it that Stimmt. opened that door? Wie ist er dann getötet worden? Santa and Lotus. Right. Clearly, the two of them could not have opened door one, or any other door for that matter. Who else then could have done so? Nobody. After Santa and Lotus used the Earth Key, they turned back and met up with me in June. Then we returned to the large hospital room and found Ace, Seven, and Clover. While we'd gone into the shower room, Ace, Seven, and Clover had stayed behind. But it's impossible for those three to open door one. Hmm, but what about when June and I took the elevator to door two? No, still won't work. We were only gone five minutes. No human being could have run to the captain's quarters, killed that guy in there, and run back that fast. It would be impossible for any of us to be the murderer. That being the case, who could have killed him? Wouldn't it make sense if his killer was someone who had been in the ship for some time? <sighs> A person like that would know the ship well. They would know the locations of all the hidden passages and secret doors. The numbered door would mean nothing to someone like that. It would be a simple thing for them to enter the captain's quarter. Then you're saying the killer was Alice? Well, this is all only one possible theory. 
All ice. Alice, is she really somewhere on the ship? Maybe this card will give me access to the Forest of Knowledge and the big mystery. What could be there beyond the Forest of Knowledge? <sighs> anyway, whatever. It's gonna have to wait. I can't do anything right now. Exactly. It's gonna have to wait until next Sunday. Ist ja schon 11 Uhr. Um, aber Ace hat tatsächlich einen Punkt. Wer hat den Typen umgebracht? Sieht aus, als ob er vor kurzem erst gestorben ist. Aber wie kann das gehen? Wenn das ja eigentlich nicht geht. Hm. Tja. Und, ähm... Um, ich kann es mal eben zeigen. Wir sind jetzt hier. Hier spaltet... Nach diesem... Das ist jetzt halt der, der zweite Raum, in dem wir gerade sind. Danach ähm, spaltet sich der Weg halt nochmal auf in... Es hört plötzlich auf, weil man das äh, Coffin-Ending noch nicht... Äh, das Safe-Ending noch nicht hatte. Oder das True-Ending. Das heißt, nächstes Mal werden wir dann hier lang gehen. Und ihr werdet alles beantwortet bekommen. Oh, ich habe ja schon gespeichert. Egal, ich mach's nochmal, damit ich zum Title Screen gehen kann. Also dann, ich äh, kann ich nur sagen, ich hoffe, ihr freut euch auf nächstes Mal. Ich kann eher sagen, ihr solltet euch auf nächstes Mal freuen. Und natürlich auch auf alles danach. Ähm, ja, das heißt, ich werde jetzt die Aufnahme stoppen und gemütlich ins Bett gehen. Und dann sehen wir uns hoffentlich alle nächsten Sonntag wieder, um die ganzen Auflösungen zu bekommen, die uns noch fehlen. <lacht> Och Mann, du kannst wieder nicht. Ja, dann musst du es auf YouTube nachholen. Tut mir leid. Oder direkt auf Twitch, würde ich sogar fast noch empfehlen. Auf YouTube lade ich halt jeden Tag so eine 30 bis 40 Minuten Folge hoch. Ähm... Aber wenn du direkt alles auf einmal nachholen willst, auf Twitch kann man ja immer direkt das komplette Video noch ein paar Wochen lang sehen. Das heißt, nächsten Sonntag kannst du nicht dabei sein, aber kannst dann ja, ähm, ja am Montag oder so dann eventuell alles am Stück gucken. Weil du wahrscheinlich nicht wirst aufhören können, kann ich schon mal sagen. Also nächsten Sonntag wird es richtig spannend und abgefahren. Und dann werden wir endlich erfahren, was all diese komischen Sachen miteinander zu tun haben, beziehungsweise was wir hier eigentlich tun. Bis dann. Gute Nacht.